Hey guys, what's up? Sam here, back with another video. And yes, I am still on the road to finding that perfect ROM. Now the last ROM I looked at was Dirty Unicorns ROM, and I've been on it for about 3-4 to four weeks, but I'm just not satisfied, so I'm gonna move on to the next ROM, and this ROM is the much anticipated Resurrection Remix ROM. I've heard a lot of great feedback on this ROM, and it's great with customization, so I really wanna see what all the hype is about. So yeah guys, let's jump right into it. Also guys, if you're not on the current vendor image, I'll leave links to that in the description down below. To do that, you just go right here, click install image and click on that. And then click vendor image and just wipe it. Alright guys, so this is pretty awesome. It has a pixel launcher which I love, so thumbs up for that. Oh, awesome. Swipe left. Yes, finally. I'm loving this, loving this. I'm just gonna let it do its thing, download all my apps, and come right back. Alright, guys? Alright, guys, so it's actually another day. I had a little time to play with the ROM a bit. I didn't go too much into the settings because, trust me, guys, as you'll see, it is a lot, a lot of settings. Alright, a lot of customizations in the settings menu. Straight off the bat, this is the ROM right here. As you can see, it has a pixel launcher on here. I definitely love this. I love having the little weather widget right there, the little Google Now. Also, my favorite thing, swipe left for the Google Now cards. I definitely love this. I love when ROMs have this capability. The last ROM, it didn't have it, but this one does. It has a swipe up to get into the app drawer. Also, normally you have to kind of go down the bottom right here and swipe up, but you can swipe up actually from anywhere right here. See? As I said before, I didn't go too much into the settings, but if you can see right here, I actually have the weather, that's, it's in Celsius right there, and it's an icon. This is the quick settings menu, all right? It's pretty much stock like how we're used to it, with the paginated swipes, and you can add all these stuff. So just tapping on configurations will bring us into the settings, all right? All right, so the first thing, clock customizations, we all know. You can put a clock in the middle, you can put it the left, the right, it's going to brand logo. If you enable this, the little Resurrection Remix logo will be at the top there in your notifications column. Next up is custom logos. So this is pretty cool. All right, so I did check this out before and it does have the little Android figure right there. I'm gonna try to figure out a nice little place to put it, but I definitely love this. You can have a custom logo as I said before. Now, right here you can pick the logo. So I had it on a little Android, but you can have tons more guys like Tuner, what's that? a uh, smile now battery as we all know we can change the battery style it can be circle it can be the icon text all that so battery bar location right now it's hidden let's go status bar all right so that's the battery bar right there at the top all right so that's battery system icons now system icons this is pretty straightforward it's pretty much some of the stuff that you can toggle on and off to show in your status bar so for example if you don't want to see the 4g sign if you don't want to see the data Wi-Fi activity, all that little stuff, notification counts. Yeah, if you don't want to see, you can toggle them off from here, all right? Now, carrier label. That's pretty much, instead of AT&T, T-Mobile, you can put your name, something custom or whatever. Jumping down. Status bar gestures. Double tap to sleep and brightness control. These are a definite must-haves in any custom ROM of mine. Now, last up on the status bar options is the breathing notifications. Now, this is pretty much uh, when you have a missed call, missed message, missed voicemail, anything like that. It gives you this nice breathing effect on your status bar. All right, now moving on, guys. The next thing up is header, and you guys know I love my like, custom header. Let's check out the splash. Oh no. <laughs> This is this is definitely dope guys. Oh my god, I'm just so in love with these things. Alright, you can enable the weather information on expanded header. Oh nice guys, so you get the weather information right here. This is nice. Next is the power dialogue. So this is this little panel right here. You can control how this looks. And I do like this guys. The little icons, that's a nice touch. Way to go, Resurrection Remix, all right? It's attention to details. It's a little stuff like this that I love in a custom ROM. All right, moving over next, we're gonna look at how to customize the recents menu. So let's first look at the general UI. 
Now the first thing we see is how the recent menu is gonna look. Now by default, this is how it looks right here. You also can put it into full screen, status bar only, nav bar only. So if you click on status bar only and do like that, the nav bar is actually gonna disappear and you just see the status bar alone. Also this lock icon here. Now let's say we lock this app. You're unable to swipe it out. And if you click on clear all, it's actually still gonna be there because you locked it, okay? So that's pretty handy if you don't wanna accidentally swipe out certain sessions or certain apps that you might be in. Now in the stock app, if you click, you'll see it all the way to the top right here. However, you can put a dedicated button and you can put it wherever you want, all right? So we go and enable it and we can put it to the bottom right and it's right here. This is where you further customize how the recent panel is gonna look. So right here, the button style. Now, normally you could just have a little X or you could have it horizontal lines, as you can see there, or something different like Google. So that's pretty cool. All right, now next up is the hidden apps. This is pretty much where you can put apps that you want to be hidden from your recent panel. So for example, you click add app right there. Then you scroll down, choose whatever app you want to add. And with that, if you go into recent menu, it'll be hidden from the panel right here. Next up is the type of recent style that you want. So it could be stock, what we're used to. It could be grid, omni switch, or slim. I already covered omni switch in my previous ROM. So if you haven't checked that out, click the link in the description down below or the card up top and you'll see that, all right? So let's look at the slim and see how that looks. All right, so yeah, kind of a neat little UI. You can still see what's going on here, but then you can just go right here. Okay, this is pretty cool. Everything is kind of minimalized, you could say, and it's quite transparent as well. All right, now down here, you have the ability to enable a sidebar. So this could be a little sidebar right here at the other edge where it has a set of apps that you want to always have up or have access to I should say. And this is where you add content. So you can just click right here, an application or an activity. And so for example, when you click on the recent menu, you have this is the recent right here. These are the recent apps. And this is a sidebar with the set apps that you want to have access to at all time. So yeah, thanks for sticking around till the end. As you can tell, this one is full of customization. Uh, it is a two-part video, so be sure to check out part two in the video description down below. As always, you guys have been awesome. My name is Dakoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.